Hey, hey. Hey. Welcome to the Brian and Kristen podcast. Uh, I'm Brian. And I'm Kristen. And we are we are here doing uh, uh, our weekly podcast. And uh, how's things going for you, Kristen? Uh, pretty good. Kind of uh, lots of readings from coming back from England. So I was pretty busy. And uh, But I noticed it looks like you got your professional shirt on today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I dressed up this week because... Uh, <laughs> Last week, uh, my my friend Brad Hall, I saw him yesterday, at, and he said, "Dude, the last podcast you did looked like you just woke up out of bed and started doing a podcast because your hair is all messed up." <laughs> I said, oh, "Okay, this week I'm gonna actually take a shower before I do the podcast." <laughs> but, That's good. But, but but thanks for the wardrobe notes there, Brad. <laughs> uh, That's funny. Yeah. So. Uh, He's a great guy. He's a wrestler like I am. So, uh, you know, he can uh, bust on me a little bit. And uh, so uh, we got a great question that uh, came to us actually last week from our, our friend George uh, uh, from California. A good buddy of mine. I miss him. Him and Kevin, two guys used to come to a lot of the comedy shows. And, you know, they, they were two of these friends that are like um, they're they're funny guys. They're not comedians, but they they get it, you know, they get the, they get the humor. They probably could be comedians if they, if they wanted to, but uh, you know, they have real lives. So yeah. Like most people don't want that job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, and, and George actually is a, uh, a Brazilian jujitsu and I, I want him to go against Mark Zuckerberg. Cause I know he would tap Mark Zuckerberg out in three seconds. So yeah. Uh, he's uh, i think he's a blue belt if i'm not mistaken or purple i'm i'm not for sure of the belts exactly but i know that he's good and he does it in california and he's one of those people in california who is cool and gets it and you know shouldn't have to be uh having his state go through all the stuff that it's going through you know so um what do you think Kristen? how many of you would it take to pin me I've thought a lot about this this week, and I'm going to go with zero. I wouldn't even attempt it. Because <laughs> <laughs> all, all the flying elbows I gave to you off the couch at mom's. <laughs> and that was when you were smaller with no real skill set. So I yeah. don't know. I mean, I feel like even if I had like 10 or 15 um, it was just too painful and dangerous when I was little to even want to endure any of that again. <laughs> now, see, I, I came to the conclusion it would take four. Okay. Four, four of you to pin me because, I mean, it's pretty safe to say you're smarter than I am, okay? You're you're actually <laughs> younger than me, but everybody assumes you're older than me because I'm always going to you for advice, right? It's not the other way around. I don't That's think true. you've ever asked me for any advice, right? <laughs> So, uh, which is a smart yeah. move in itself, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I think that, I think that you'd be smart enough to have one of you in front of me upsetting me. Okay. Then another <laughs> one behind me to push me down. Then another Kristen to grab my leg, uh, arms and legs. And then one to lay on top of me and get the three count. <laughs> I think that if there were four I mean, Kristens, I would be I would be outdone. Two I could handle. <laughs> three would would be uh, a long and aggravating. But I think if there were four of you, you could uh, you could take me down. That's I feel like that's point. a pretty strategic answer. Yeah, yeah that's, that's my man. <laughs> and uh, you know, and and uh, well, since we're on the topic of wrestling, we got to pay tribute to the Iron Sheik. I remember the Iron Sheik. You remember these, Kristen, right? Oh, I definitely remember the wrestlers, but I don't remember him so much. I remember okay. more like uh, Macho Man, Randy Savage, and uh, Andre the Giant. Yes, we got those guys as well. We got Macho Man. We got Andre uh, <laughs> as our guys. But Iron Sheik, well, I guess you really remember Iron Sheik because uh, I barely remember him only because I was such a historian. But in 1982, Hulk Hogan defeated the Iron Sheik to become champion thus hulkamania was born and in a classic wrestling fashion pure racism was used against the iron sheik to make him the bad guy because he's from iran and hogan's the oh all-american guy and, but iron sheik was a funny guy 
His interviews were always great. And throughout the rest of his life, he became famous on Twitter as one of the most funniest people. I don't know if that's such a word, most funniest, but he became one of the most funniest people on Twitter uh, because he was just hilarious. He was always trash talking people. He had several famous appear appearances on Howard Stern. And um, so he is a legend. His move was called the camel clutch, which you have actually experienced. I did put you in the camel clutch for <laughs> sure. Or some where you sit, where you sit yeah, on the yeah, back yeah. and you pull their neck back and it's called the camel clutch. Another thing, <laughs> slightly racist. Oh my gosh. From WWF, <laughs> the camel clutch. I mean, I feel like, I feel like on some level I should get credit for uh, your state performance because you had somebody to practice on from a very young age. I got no credit for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, it was very true. It, I think you did help a lot with the, with making it for me, making it state on wrestling. Cause before, you know, we, I mean, we didn't even really know what, you know, amateur wrestling was. We only knew of the pros. Right. And, and I got to admit, mm -hmm. I did want to be a pro wrestler, but, you know, I don't think any amount of steroids would have put my physique in <laughs> big enough to be uh, a, a pro wrestler. So, um, so amateur, yes, yeah, so I got a lot of practice on you and we, and, and actually wrestling, uh, both wrestlings, amateur and pro wrestling became kind of a big thing in our house, but at a young age, we uh, dad you took us. Do you remember when he took us to the uh, Hera Arena to watch pro I wrestling? I do. That's where we got to actually, yeah, watch pro wrestling live. I mean, how many people actually get to do that? <laughs> <laughs> and I think uh, the back then, I don't know. Do you remember any of the matches at all? I don't. I mean, I vaguely even remember that memory. I mean, now that you bring it up, I remember going, but I don't remember much of any of it. <laughs> uh, so we had... Uh, uh, I mean, it was probably a highlight for you. Yeah, because the British Bulldogs were there. Um, and uh, I I want to say there were several other, uh, you know, people. I think the Killer Bees might have been the tag team, you know, um, but it wasn't one that was, you know, Hogan or any of the big guys weren't there. Maybe Jim Duggan might have been there, Axel Jim Duggan. But it wasn't like the kind of the one that they put on the weekly TV show back then. And um, uh, in fact, uh, you know, I'm going off a little bit here a lot because this is but, um, you know, dad would wake me up. Now, do you, do you he wouldn't wake you up for this, I remember. But do you remember that he used to wake me up on Saturday nights to watch wrestling? Oh, no, I don't remember that either. <laughs> so so on Saturday nights, there was something that came on called Saturday night's main event. Oh, um, yes. OK. <laughs> OK, so it was Saturday night's main event and I would go to bed and then he would wake me up and we would watch <laughs> wrestling. And boy, this is making us sound pretty hillbilly. We're not that hillbilly, I swear. <laughs> Maybe, but you know, that's funny that like what parent is actually waking their kid up once they go to sleep? Most parents are probably like, yes, they're asleep. <laughs> Dad goes and wakes you up. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one time, actually, hang on, I'm going to grab the wrestlers. So one time, uh, Dad, got, Dad uh, woke me up. And it was Hulk Hogan was going to fight Magnificent Morocco. Okay. <laughs> and during the match, uh, can you believe I still have these? Um, <laughs> That's what I'm watching. I'm like, what 40 plus man has all these wrestlers right there? You know, they're the worth world. a lot on eBay, right? I've, I've considered, <laughs> I think I got a thousand dollars worth of, of wrestlers because that were not worth a thousand dollars. I got like, <laughs> Wrestlers that were once worth twenty dollars worth like a thousand dollars, right? Yeah, you just don't know. And so it was it was Hogan versus Magnificent Morocco, right? <laughs> it was these two guys, and they're in there fighting, boom, 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 and then Morocco grabs Hogan, and then in comes King Kong Bundy. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so King Kong Bundy comes in. And he does the avalanche to Hulk Hogan, which was his big move. And as you can see, this is a big guy. I mean, he's heavy just holding in my hand. <laughs> the avalanche is Hogan. Boom, boom, boom. And I don't know. I'm five, six. I still believe wrestling is real, which, you know, it's, you know, which still, even though it's not real, you got to respect what they do. I mean, to jump off of it. But so he's avalanche and Hogan. 
and Hogan gets carried out in a stretcher and his ribs are broken, he might die. Okay. <laughs> I have to try to fall back asleep after that. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny <laughs> that's so I'm funny that he would... and, and then that's <laughs> when I think dad was put in a position because I the next day Sunday morning I wake up I didn't sleep hardly at all because Hogan's my hero right say your yeah. prayers eat your vitamins pray to God I mean all this stuff that you know people should be doing and you know we didn't know vitamins for hogan man steroids at the time but like <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um so i think that's when i don't know if dad at that kind time, time told me wrestling wasn't real but he kind of kept saying hogan's gonna be okay you know hogan because he had to try and calm me down because and mom too and i don't know how mom was you know but i was really a wreck over that i mean it really <laughs> And then uh, WrestleMania came and Hogan put the beat down on King Kong Bundy, uh, which was great. And then um, uh, the following year, it was, uh, this is Andre the Giant when he was still good and wear blue shorts. Yeah. And then it, the next year, it was Hogan versus Andre the Giant. And uh, Boy, that's not even how I remember him looking at all. That was like, that one must be really old. This is really old. Who knows what this one's worth? Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you better you know, put those things in a like a lock box at the box in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody knows you got these old wrestlers that are worth money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you go into the bank and you're like, I got some wrestlers I need to put in the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I spent a lot of hours playing with these. Mm -hmm. But we loved our wrestlers. Remember, we named a dog after one of the wrestlers. Rowdy? Coco. Coco Beware. Oh, Coco. Oh, I didn't know that. Here, I thought, <laughs> boy, I learned something new every time <laughs> talking to you on here. <laughs> Coco Beware, the bird man. Coco Beware. <laughs> oh, that's so, funny, too. Yeah. I'm and, curious, did Dad tell you Santa Claus wasn't real, too, at that same time? <laughs> <laughs> How did we figure that? Well, I, I don't remember us figuring Santa wasn't real. I remember one year they couldn't get us gifts for whatever reason. Something happened and they gave us five stars. Remember the five gold stars from Santa? Oh my gosh. No, I don't. I must have zero memory of being a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you blocked it out. I don't remember that out, either. Right? Yeah. I, <laughs> somehow I made it to this age with no recollection of anything from then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was uh one of the christmases we got five gold stars from santa because i don't know if mom and dad were uh uh just got were too busy to buy anything that year or maybe they had to put their money elsewhere or something happened where you know basically there wasn't much gifts and santa gave us five gold stars <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> i might have more trauma than i remember <laughs> <laughs> But I was kind of excited about the five gold star. Oh, wow, five gold stars. Because <laughs> you didn't get them in school. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one time you got them, I was like, oh, this is a repeat. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm getting five gold stars every day in class. <laughs> so that is, man, that was a great question. Who would have thought that question would have turned into so much stuff, you know? I mean, I'm going to have to have a therapy session after this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, my, uh, therapy five gold stars. <laughs> my therapy session has always been with my wrestlers. <laughs> yeah. <that's... laughs> play, with, play with dolls and stuff to get out their aggression. <laughs> Seriously. And then it turned into a state championship. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. So, um, well, that was well. That was great. We had a we had a good one. That just flew by, and we try to keep our podcast around fifteen minutes so that people, uh, you know, can go about their lives and and uh, and, and move on. So, George, thanks for the great question. That really was uh, inspirational, and we want to keep in asking people to send in questions, see where the questions might lead to, and and uh, all questions are welcome, and we will get to them. In fact, next week. We got a great question from our neighbor, Diane Barbie, and she wants to know, do pigs fly? Because we were talking about pigs in the fair and everything like that. So 
Next week, we plan on answering the age-old question, do pigs fly? I'll have to start thinking about that. <laughs> Get your notebook out. And start. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Start, start journaling. journaling. <laughs> 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 all right Kristen. well thanks for uh everything and uh you got any final words before we go i don't think so i think uh yeah i know we covered covered some interesting stuff here today yeah we sure did <laughs> so um all right well that's it for me too we'll see you on the next one all right bye see ya